Do 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 do. All right, folks, it's movie night. So what are we gonna watch today? So I do have a couple ideas what we can do here. I do have Robocop, dystopian future, gangs, corrupted corporations, poverty and justice, maybe too dark for today. Guardians of the Galaxy, probably one of my favorite movies from our cinematic universe. Great characters, great story, great soundtrack, by the way. I think that James Gunn really nailed this. But also, I don't feel it today. What about <laughs> modern and uh, instant classic? I went to some of the dips in my YouTube analytics and find out that you folks really like that live stream when I showed you how you can use Debezium connector to stream changes from MySQL DB into Kafka and process those changes using KSQL DB. So we decide to make this even more accessible and uh, for greater audience. Some people didn't watch it because again, it's too long. People might not have a time. We went ahead and prepared the short version for you that doesn't have any blah, blah, blah and things like that, only real stuff. We're gonna watch this today together and I hope you enjoy this format and as always have fun and enjoy. My name is Viktor Gamov and welcome to Streaming Things. So today we're going to start a series of the episodes where I will be talking about data integration and how we can integrate Kafka and stream processing tools with all technologies. In this particular case, I want to show, we'll start with some of the CDC. So imagine the situation where you have some old system that works with all database and you want to, you know, kind of lift and shift your application and start doing some Kafka stuff, but there's some old data exists in your database. For this episode, we're going to be talking about change data capture from database, and we will talk about some stream processing. So we're going to be starting with a few things. One thing is we're going to be using database, as I can say, and uh, after that, we're going to be using, you know, Kafka and, and things like that. What's going to be, what's going to be easiest way to bring some software into the mix. We're gonna be starting with some Docker. So in this case, all this demo will be, you know, somehow Dockerized and we're gonna be using this approach along the way. Let's call it Docker Compose YAML. Version is gonna be two services. So we're gonna be starting with this small thing uh, ignore, ignore this one yet. We're gonna not gonna need this, or we will. We will need this. So in this particular case, I will be using my SQL. Image comes from a project that called Divisium, the project that we will be using for change data capture. And uh, so I'm using the my SQL that uh, they ship with. So if I'll do Docker compose up D, it will fail. It will fail because I don't have this data. Let me create this directory called data. And in this directory, I will create movies MySQL. This is going to be my database. And uh, let's see if, uh, if it works. Do I can compose up the version is invalid, it should be string, obviously. And when we do this, So what I'm doing this, I'm just trying to see if my SQL will be up and running. Starting. Let's see if I do have it here. Connect. Should be able to connect to this one. It's online. There's nothing here. So right now it's just like uh, my SQL works. So let's, let's bring some of the data in. And the way how uh, I can bring some data is uh, to initialize this. Let me pause down. The initialize with some of the initial Couple things that we need to have here is SQL. In order to using this connector, in order to bring the data, this uh, database needs to be configured in a certain way. There uh, needs to be ability to access to this bin log. So in this case, division need to access to bin log, and uh, this is how we are doing this, you know, activation of this bin log. 
And the second thing that we need to have here is actual data. I will be using this uh, demo that many of you maybe show, saw before, but essentially this is application that captures user ratings and for particular movies. And uh, these movies will calculate the running average. And in order to do that, we need to have some of the data to look up this information about uh, movies, information about uh, ratings. So we're gonna be using our database as a lookup for change dialect to project dialect to MySQL. I have a table of movies and uh, have some initial data. So a couple of things, configured access to bin log, and the second thing, populated with data. Let's see if it actually works. Use demo. Docker Compose Abdi. Demo will be here. Uh, do not forget, go there and uh, get this project. Let's see if we have uh, fixed this error. Yeah, so we have some data, we have some tables, we have actual movies data there. For some reasons we don't, I don't see it. Uh, let's see. I think we can do this manually, I guess. It's it's also fine. So let's do this. New query. Use demo. Run query. Okay, good stuff. Next thing is that we are going to create and uh, data run query. All right, table created, refresh. Let's do this. And if I run query, database exists. Okay, if I'll do... Yes, okay. Now it's here, table created. Let me execute this query once again. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we have data. Then now we need to bring data into Kafka somehow. We need to do things like bring Kafka in. So um, we bring in a, a zookeeper, which is uh, will be used for Kafka. Uh, we bring in we bring in a Kafka broker, which is uh, will be used to store some of the data. So next thing is that we need to also bring a um, so, uh, scheme registry, the, because always nice. Um, Docker Compose uh, scheme registry. And now we have a three bits. Now, in order to run this, um, uh, we need to use uh, Kafka, Kafka Connect. We're gonna be using this uh, the Docker uh, Docker image from uh, Debezium. So it's already including Connect. Hopefully, if I will restart Docker Compose, down minus v if i will restart this i should be able to get docker compose pull just make sure that i have all these images up and running here rocker i think i typed something wrong here it's always good to have yep 1k okay now should we go let's run it that docker compose up and run this in the background So my SQL is good. Let's see if my data is still there. It's not disappeared. Okay, still there. And uh, how we can validate if Kafka is working, which is do a list of Kafka topics. Uh, as you can see, I've done this many times. So since it's the Kafka Connect, it will be using Kafka as a storage to storing offset and configurations. Scheme registry will be using this topic for schemas and there's some stuff that comes with the Confluent images. The next thing is that we have a connector. We need to marry this connector with our database. So we start getting some of the data. In order to see if we have any data there, first of all, let me do this. I want to replicate data from my database into my Kafka topic. So in this case, I want to listen topic with movies and uh, the C result in, in the console. Oh, you're still watching, great. And uh, in this case, I do have a small favor to ask. So 
you can just like pause this video. If you didn't subscribe to this YouTube channel, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, but you don't have notification enabled, please do enable these notifications. And if you did uh, subscribe and, and you have notifications, just write down in the comments how you like this so far. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed what you're watching and let's continue to watch this. Let's do it. The next thing is that I will bring a connector configuration. So now I create a new file called submit the zoom config. And the way how it looks like it's just a simple command to submit the configuration to a particular connector. So let's see if I have a ability to see what kind of connectors I do have here. Get connector classes. My Kafka Connect instance is running uh, on this Docker and exposes port locally, so I will be able to see what kind of connector classes is available. So in this particular case, Debezium comes with a set of predefined connectors, and there's some of the connectors that come with uh, the standard Kafka Connect image. One of the things that we're interested in here is this uh, MySQL connector. This is gonna be our connector class that we're gonna be configuring. Some of the configuration, you can find this in, uh, in Debezium configuration, but some of the things that I've seen other people doing this, and I also like the way, you know, how the result look like, is to using few transformations. So transformations is a small bits of code that would be manipulated with your records that comes into Kafka. So in this particular case, the things what I'm gonna be using in transformation that will be extracting valuable data for me from message that this connector generates. So this connector generates with many different scenarios, with different uh, databases, different products. So the message format is uh, created to provide unified kind of like a message format. So they, regardless of what underlying database is, the, the message that would be extracted from this database. In this case, I'm using this extract new record state that allows me to strip out some of the additional metadata. In the past, this transformation was called something like uh, remove envelope, and it will extract some of the metadata that Debezium puts in and put actual payload so I can materialize it as a Avro schema. Plus, I also dropping the prefix, uh, so my top Topic, server database and after table, I will remove this information. I executing this script that submitted Debezium connector config into my connect cluster. This is the result that I got from EP paste to paste to GQ. So this is the result that I got from as a response to my saying that this connector was created, everything is fine. So now if I will go and do things like and connector status, I should see that uh, my uh, Debezium connector is up and running. Let me actually demonstrate some of the some of the interesting things. So let me remove this from beginning, meaning that right now this console, console consumer will be listening only changes that happening. So in this case, if I'll go my database and say, we'll change something in this particular case, I don't like this letter S here. So I will validate this and click apply. So database change happened and uh, the, because we have a connector that listens this, I got this uh, new data. I can change some other things. For example, Scarface uh, drama and we'll do here action. So if I'll do apply and now you should see that things are in my Kafka top. The one, the last thing that I want to show you today uh, really quickly was gonna be you know part of, of the future demo that we will be using with Kafka Streams, for example, is to add um, key SQL capabilities. So you know for today's exercise, we will adding key SQL DB into the mix. So what we can do, we can create materialized view and use key SQL DB as a lookup table for these movies. Same way as we did our database from if we do select go in database and do select star from movies where movie ID equals something we should be able to get something similar from KSQL DB. Uh, why is that? Uh, in the future, we're gonna be using this table information about movies as our lookup table once we start processing our ratings. Uh, less diet, kill less, kill, okay. And I'll do docker compose down in order to restart. It goes down, it's going down, it's going down. All right, and I'll do docker compose up D to start all these things. 
as an exercise to observe, I'm going to log view of my uh, KSQL DB server and wait until my KSQL DB server will be able to receive requests. I come up with some like a very naive approach to deal with this type of stuff. So I will show you this uh, to you in a few seconds. Let's do a file, let's call it queries. SQL. I'll just copy it here and I'll explain later what, what I'm trying to do here. Now, should be, yep, it's up and running. So I should be able to run KSQL CLI here. And okay, show properties. It's, it's working, so show topics. But it doesn't see my movies topic because I didn't execute the start the connector. Okay, and let's get back to KSQL. And the uh, command line is up and running. Show topics. And I can do print. Let's just reset offset and it should be much easier. I forgot the syntax for print command. Print movies. Yeah, okay. So data in Avro format here and K format in value format are in Avro. And now we can do something with this. So first of all, in order to operate this, you probably already remember, you need to create a stream of this. So in this particular case, I'm saying that value format is uh, movies and I'm creating stream called raw movies. I do have here interesting things. This is my, um, my table. Let me remove this, this, I will do image changes. So I start reading this from the very beginning because I reset this offset. So once the new stream will be starting, it will be always uh, resetting. But now if I will go back to my database and say find 362, uh, it's going to be a little action comedy. And what I will put here is Tris plus movie. So while I click apply, so as you can see what's happened, unupdated this database, changes were captured by uh, DBZoom, uh, propagated back to my Kafka topic, and now my KSQL DB was able to also follow along. But also interesting thing, it was able to parse the genre because in my database, it came as a pipe separated and I want to use this as an array because I want to manipulate this. In the future demos that I want to be doing, I want to do stuff like that. So now next thing is the last thing for today. I want to show you how I can create a materialized view and uh, the way how it's done in the KSQL, KSQL needs to create this like a grouping uh, thing and collect all the changes that happens here over the time. And the latest by offset, this is the function if uh, you want to do this. If you go to ksql uh, db.io, I'm looking for docs. How to guide change log to table. Yeah, convert change log to table. This is what I wanted to do. And essentially using this function to have, you know, change log table that will also only capture uh, latest greatest value. So I created this table uh, movie lookup so I can do things like say select star from movies lookup where row key is 362. So select, let me see how we can do this here with the um, where key, okay. So this is what uh, happens here. So now if I will go and update something, so let's find some of the things that very weird looking. Let's do this one. Yeah. If I do Kill Bill volume one. So if I do four, four, five, movie Kill Bill volume one. And if I'll do this and I can apply this and my, this is how the data will be updated. All right.
Now you have the idea how you can use uh, Debezium Connector to connect your MySQL database and stream the changes from this database into Kafka and process those changes using KeySQL DB. Subscribe to this channel, enable notifications, write down in the comments what you want to see in future. And my name is Viktor Gamov, and as always, have a nice day.